Okay? It's not these religions. It's not Christianity, Catholics, or any other religion. Jesus is coming back for a people. So verse 5. But after thy hardness and impenitent, impenitent heart treasureth up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. So Paul is going on to say unto Israel, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart. Your heart is hard. Talking to Israel, because you won't repent. You won't repent and serve the Lord. So your heart is hard and it's impenitent. You're not re repenting. It treasures up unto yourself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. So we only hurting ourselves when we don't repent. The, uh, we're treasuring up the wrath of God in our heart. Impenitent heart, treasure up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath. When the Lord comes back and you haven't repented uh, uh, under, and revelation righteous judgment of God, when Jesus is revealed, when he comes back, the righteous judgment of God is going to, his right, you're not going to be righteous. You're going to be part of that wrath. So that's why you got to repent, talking to Israel. That's why you got to soften your heart and turn to the Lord. The word of God is for Israel. But we done got mixed up with the Gentiles that we think we are the Gentiles. <laughs> we scattered amongst them, but we are not Gentiles. So you need to repent. Jesus said, "If you don't believe that I, if believe that I am He, you're gonna die in your sins." And a lot of us want to call ourselves Christians, but we are Israelites. <clears throat> you know, you don't even know how you who you are, but you're living like the Gentiles, doing what they do and saying what they say, acting like they act. You need to get back into the Word of God and keep the Word of God. Today is the Sabbath. Keep the Sabbath. The Lord told us to keep the Sabbath to remember the Passover when he brought us out of Egypt the first time. He brought us out of Egypt, told us to put blood on the lentils and the doorposts, and he's going to pass over us, Israel, and slay, slay the firstborn of Egypt. And that's what he, he did, and that's the Passover. The Lord want us to remember that. That's why we keep the Sabbath to remember that. We are Israel. He's going to do the same thing again. We are in the land of our captivity. And the Lord is going to bring us out of our captivity when he comes back. And this uh, departure, this exodus... It's going to make the first exodus like child's play. It's going to be so great and so grand. Everybody going to know who we are and who the Lord is. There ain't going to be no mistaking. So what I'm saying is absolutely, totally, 100% truth. You can take it to the bank and bank on it. Israel is us. We are Israel. We're in the land of our captivity. Jesus is coming back for us. But you better get right, act right, repent, serve the Lord with all your heart. Verse 6, 